Hi guys, I have shovel, pruning tools today because I'm going to clean up around the trees, our fruit trees in the yard. Most of the fruit trees in our yard, my husband did already take care of that. And I have one over here that I can do it today. This is one of our cherry trees. What I'm going to do right now is weed around the tree and cut off some of the branches, the dead branches and the new shoot or the new plants, branches that comes out so it will be healthier tree. a lot of work pulling out the weeds there <laughs> at the same time I already have my exercise for the day today <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about cleaning up around the tree pull the weeds out it is a lot of work it is hard work but the tree needed to be clean around so it will grow healthier and also, I was talking about the dead branches from last winter. So every year we have harsh winter in Minnesota and the trees are dying. Some of the branches of the trees are dying, our fruit trees. So it needed to be cut some of the dead branches off. If there's new cherry trees coming up from the ground, you also need to cut that down to give the big tree the full energy so it will grow healthier and produce a lot of fruits throughout the season if there are branches like this touching each other you have to cut one of them off so they don't touch each other and it will grow freely Now that cherry tree is looking healthier compared before I weed it out and cut the branches off, the dead branches off, right now it's looking more healthy. The other half of the tree is barely survived from the winter and look at it still buds out or the leaves trying to comes out for the summer <laughs> or for the season and I'm hoping it will survive at the half of the tree but otherwise the other half are doing really good it's blooming right now and hopefully we'll get some fruits from it so yeah I'm going to show you some other trees our fruit trees apple trees in the front yard that my husband did already clean up and prune this is what we are doing to maintain the trees, the fruit trees in our yard to become healthy, healthy and more fruits every year. This 
is the crab apple tree that my husband did clean up already around the tree and cut off some branches that the, it's not really needed to be there and this tree this year did not really bloom a lot because it blooms heavily last year and what I learned is if, if the tree like the apple trees or cherry trees bloom heavily this year it will not grow or bloom a lot the next year my husband did a great job see he did clean up that around the tree and cut some of the dead branches off and all the branches that touching each other he cut that off too good job that he did and the same as this tree here if you see around the tree it's already clean and the same thing here he did clean up around the tree as well and cut some of the branches the dead branches off and the new runners and new branches the newest branches come off on the tree he cut that off too so pretty much he got all the tree around the yard and even the front yard so in the front yard we also have apple trees and cherry trees there we have pear trees as well and that's how we take care of our fruit trees every year.
guys, it's Jackie. Thank you for watching. Click that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss our new videos. Bye guys.